Hi, everybody. It's Linda G here with Arthur. Hi, everybody. How you doing, Arthur? Good. Like it, oh. We have to change computers because for some reason my voice wasn't coming through on his. And, and I have a wrong name up there, so forgive me. Oh, okay. I didn't even notice. I just did. But anyway. Who's that, your friend? <laughs> Is that your little friend? It's it's my alter it's my alter ego. <laughs> it's my imaginary friend. <laughs> okay, well listen. This is kind of a busy day. I've got like four or five people. Isn't that some? I've never done this before. And maybe I'll break the world record, but it's kind of fun. Well, on my community page, I said, I'll be one of the thousand collabs that Linz is doing on Saturday. <laughs> well, you know, I people ask me all the time, do you want to do a collab? And what happened was, because I went through a couple of deaths, actually. And I was putting people off and then I just did it. Like even this morning, I've done three readings for clients I had to reschedule. So I did three readings and then I had to start with the YouTube. And I also put a pot, pot roast. Paint, a pot roast and wash. <laughs> and I got a load of laundry done. So you can't say I ain't Wonder Woman. Where's your invisible jet? <laughs> So listen, some thank you, you guys. You guys sent some good questions. But let's get to the facts. What's going to happen with Alito? I see his pompous ass just like this. Just like Thomas. It's like, I dare you. Yeah. I dare you. Knock that off my shoulder. Go ahead. Yeah. Is he going to have to recuse himself? Because Judge, Judge uh, Roberts says... I'm feeling he does. Really? Okay. Kicking and screaming. Yeah. But what I've also seen is as we get into the new administration, there's going to be some changes. Oh, I kept seeing um, a hearing, like a Senate hearing. And, and they're going to bring all of them in. Didn't you say, here's the tape, didn't you say you wouldn't touch precedent? And, and they all lied. Well, yeah, they, they perjured themselves. They're, you know, they swore, you know, to tell the truth. Yeah. And so, I mean, what I said back in, um, when did your first show in July? That yeah. I felt Thomas would be stepping down at the end of October yeah. for health reasons. But it's actually, you know, all the Ginny crap. Did you see on, I don't know if it was X or, or Threads, they were showing Don Jr. and somebody put it placed puppets inside of his and they, they said he's always doing the puppet show. Ah. I got to tell you, honest to God, I feel more now than ever sort of an excitement. Like it's happening. Things are really going to start happening. Well, you know, Donald Trump is giving a speech to Libertarian tonight. After Kennedy, and they voted. They were voting yesterday, and they had a big meeting. And a lot of the Unitarians, Libertarians, stood up and said, "F Trump." They're chanting it. Wait, where is is this in that wherever they were gathered? Yeah, it, they had like the day before last night. So Brian a lot Trump of them all leave, leave, maybe listen to Kennedy, and then leave when he comes up. Well, I feel sorry for that worm that starved because it was in his brain. There was nothing there to eat. Oh, my gosh. With and then they lie about the crowds they use, Obama's crowds and crowds for Rod Stewart, to pretend like those are. And also, what, three people showed up in Manhattan for his fans, yeah. his people, and they're blocking them. They're not. And I said, no, they're not blocking him. And in the Bronx yesterday, the other yeah. day? It was like, so we're saying they're all out of state cars in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a little bit white country out there. Uh, yeah. 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 And then when he did the aerial view, it was like, yeah, that's not 100,000 people. No. But I'm telling you, he thinks there'll be blood to pay and they do all this threatening stuff, him and Bannon. And I don't see that. I do see some things here and there, but I don't see crowds going crazy. 
you know, little Did idiot. you feel he'll be found guilty? Yes. Okay, so when they announce guilty, do you see crowds coming out marching? No. I don't see it either. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> He's going to jail. <laughs> There'll be a ticker tape parade. Um, though, you know, I love that Marianne revealing light. Oh God. She was so cool when that when we were going into the finals here with the last vote. And you know, Biden wasn't necessarily roaring ahead. And mm -hmm. I couldn't. I went to bed and my stomach hurt so bad. And I was thinking to the guys, why would you tell me he's going to win? Why would you do this to me? Because I couldn't understand. I trusted them totally. Mm -hmm. So I watched Marianne on my cell phone. And she just made me feel good. She goes, okay, I'm going to tell you something. My friend Daniel said too, don't worry. The, the votes are coming in. The other votes are coming in. And so sure enough, he won. And then she said, She's reading. She said, just like Linda G says, they'll be dancing in the streets. Yeah. It's great. All night long. All night. So listen, uh, Diana wants to know what Fanny, Fanny Willis, when the appeal of Judge McAvee's decision to drop six charges against Trump, will they be reinstated? Yes. I don't see. No, no, no. I don't, I, what I'm going to say is I don't see her going away. I don't see her going away either. But apparently and, McAvee dropped six charges from Trump. 91 minus six, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. One's enough. I didn't see Fonny going away either. Just not okay. a I also see Cannon going by the end of July. Who? Cannon. Oh, ooh. Shout out to Cannon, end of July. That's what I keep on feeling. Well, he asked her for a, what do you call it when they make them keep their mouth shut? She, he doesn't want Trump talking about the DOJ anymore and about the FBI because they were going to try to assassinate him. He wasn't even there when they came. Well, you know what? When he when I read Biden tried to assassinate you, well, it's like, well, if you get your immunity, that's that's what you want to do. So why not? Right, but but the same the same people with the same weapons showed up at Biden, uh, Biden's place too. Oh, it's it's a standard. It's a standard of a warrant from the FBI. It's yeah, all, and it's, you know it's, we've got that Merrick Garland, and I love him, but he's not firm enough. He's not somebody that can go out there like John Wayne and said, you know, get him, pull, put up, put up your hands and pull down your pants. <laughs> I can't say what I was going to say. I <laughs> oh, what will become of... Uh, okay, did we already do Alito? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Oh, Land, Lance Norm says, Repubes are introducing a bill in Arizona to change voting rules and handbooks so that the new rules favor... It's not going to happen. Gonna happen. It's okay, too... thank you. I don't see that happening at all. What do you think about Biden not being on the Ohio? He's going to get on Ohio. Yeah, I think I'm glad, even though the governor is Republican, he said, stop this nonsense. Yeah. You saw what a fit people threw for Colorado when they weren't going to put, even though he's a he's a, a insurrectionist, insurrectionist, they weren't going to put him on the Colorado. You saw what the Supreme Court said. That goes to the Supreme Court. They, they'll have to say, yeah, you got to keep him on the ballot. Yeah. Will Steve Bannon ever get his happy ass in jail? Pig Pen goes to jail, yes. Okay. And don't forget, he gets to go back to court with Judge. Um, I just went, but who's our Manhattan judge? Um, Marshawn. Marshawn, yeah. Who, by the way, is good. Oh, oh, the Lazy River. So, yeah, he's going up. Yeah. Oh, I bet he. And guess who his attorney is? Yeah. The putz, the one that went up there and showed his pachikas. Oh, the one who thought he was going to save Trump, and that's when the judge told everybody, to get out of the... "Huh?" Costello. The last one. The... Costello. That's going to be Bannon's attorney. It's like swimming up. Either him or Eastman, so who knows? No, it was Costello's. His... I, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Oh, okay. So, Arthur, when you look 
I haven't kept up with my friends looking at their page. And by the way, I was on a birthday party last night and they said, everybody look out for your subscribers or place your subscribe. All of a sudden, and I don't think YouTube's doing it on purpose. While I was on that show, four people looked and they were taken off my page and they had to resubscribe. I better look at you and make sure. I'll look at I, yeah. guys, I also, I felt like Linda G. I had my first impersonator troll. You did? Yeah, somebody was replying to everything with the, you know, about demonic possessions or something and to get out of it, donate money to this Nigerian um, oh. orphanage. Was this on my page? No, it was on, it was mine. No, I'm saying somebody had my picture and it was Arthur Ease Your Mind and then this like diatribe and one of my, one of the people wrote in and said, we know it's not you, it's not snarky enough. And I had 20 people, subscribers call me and say, I don't know if you're aware of this, you know, and they put on my service and then I had emails. So I felt really good with this community watching my back. Is but that I feel wonderful? like you when you're saying, I don't have a, what, a WhatsApp. I never have had a WhatsApp. Yeah. I don't have Apple News. I don't have TikTok. Mm -hmm. But, did I, you know, when I was at the airport with Delta, when I got stuck at the airport for 10 hours, um, I wrote, somebody said, write on Twitter, and, and sometimes customer service okay. is really good. What I got was fake Delta people saying, yeah. now you need to call me on your WhatsApp phone. I said, I don't have a WhatsApp. Well, you need to get one. I said, this doesn't feel right. Well, what they did was they opened up a brand new account, used my picture, and then put Arthur, ease your mind the way I have it, and then put a period after it. So it would read as a whole new account. Mm -hmm. And when I said this last night on Val's show, somebody wrote in, you have periods? I'm like, I'm too old. So did you block them and report them? Oh, yeah, I reported them, everything, you know. And if I was female, I'd have powdered eggs by now. Well, let me tell you, Facebook just doesn't care. I don't, I don't, I'm not on Facebook, but it was, it was all on YouTube. Oh yeah. No, okay. someone stole my account on Facebook and they could care less. I said, the people are impersonating me, making mm -hmm. money off of me fraudulently and they didn't care. Wow. That's yeah. It's, it's criminal. Literally. Yeah. Okay. So the good news is, okay. Psychically, I know it's very hard to get a time. I'm thinking even by Friday they could have a verdict. That's what I got. That's what I got. And and I feel they got to go through each one. And I do see a couple of jurors nervous. But I, you know, I even see the judge talking to them. So maybe a juror says, look, I know he's guilty, but I'm scared because I'm afraid of what Trump will do. And he's assuring the person. Yeah. No, I, I don't see hung jury. Okay. I don't. If I see hung, uh, no, I don't I play hangman, but I don't see it. But I, what I kept on seeing was Friday. <sighs> By seven o'clock, everything is taken care of. Yeah, because they want to go home. Yeah. Oh, he's going to be. Did you see him react? Oh, he's just a farting machine. Come on. He's like a little petulant. Let me guy. throw real quick. I just want to look. I've never looked at what's Trump's reaction when he's found guilty. <laughs> I know my heart will be beating. All night long. Um, oh, well, I pulled a card here. And I used the Lenormand deck, and I got the dog upside down, which is loyalty. No one's loyal to me. Wah, 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 wah. And it's a, it's a rigged, it's a rigged jury. It's a rigged judge. Yeah, right. It's a Biden. Biden wasn't even in office when, when he did all this illegal stuff. No. Yes, yes, he will be found guilty. He's going to be torn apart, my friends. Torn apart. I think this There's is the really judge. Like the end. Huh? This is like the beginning of the end. I, that's what. I, let me tell you something. Because of that guilty verdict, even the uh, the, the Nikki Haley people. Mm -hmm. Now you saw a big group of them met with Biden yesterday, right? Yeah. The Nikki Haley people really do hate him and they don't want him. So, but they, some of them would rather vote for nobody than vote for Biden. But I think after he is found guilty, it's really going to set the path. Well, I've been saying for 
forever that I now see him crossing the finish line and that I felt Nikki Haley ends up being on the ticket because she has delegates. And I actually felt the other night, I kept looking vice president, vice president, vice president. I really feel he had a meeting with uh, Ron DeSantis. Yeah, but he needs Ron's money. That's Let me what, tell you something. That this is my my vision. Carrot, carrot. He wants Nikki Haley's money, and he wants her people. And he, I saw him on an interview or somebody news media. So is N Nikki Haley going to be in your administration? He said, "Well, yeah, I think there might be some room for her." He would never let her be VP than a man in the moon because she's got a mind of her own. He'd rather have somebody like Ben Carson. He right. likes all those people following him like dogs. Well, I was just saying he's been calling in the lab every day to see if the clone is ready. <laughs> but as far as Nikki Haley saying she'll vote for Trump, that's because I think she feels that if Trump is not able to cross the finish line. Yeah, she then she can get in there. But here's the problem. She's a two-faced liar. She speaks oh. with her tongue. She said that man shouldn't even be given a driver's license for the way he treats our military. And you think because all of a sudden she comes up on the ticket, people are like, oh, yeah, no, no, she changes her mind too much. Well, look at all the Republicans that were running against them, what they were saying, like Lindsey Graham, Ted Cruz, all of them. And then they do a turn around and kiss the ring. I know. But I feel she's just doing this. A, it's, I don't think she likes Trump or anything. I think she just did that for if he goes away, I'll, you know, I have a chance to be on the ticket. And there's a good possibility that he could drop dead or something. Well, remember when I did our first show in July? Yeah. My mouth came. Well, you got to be alive to be a president. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God, did I say that? But as we get closer and closer, I just see him like this fart machine going down. Well, I'll tell you, you know, when you're astrologers, we got Andre, who has been very on the money. Yeah. Or when we, I first met Andre, you know, Trump was still getting away with stuff. And he says, listen, don't worry, that's going to change. And mm -hmm. he told me the month that was going to start changing. And then he said, now lately, his his sign with health is really, really bad. I, psychically, I've been feeling June, July. You know, after the 4th of July, it's like, really? Oh, brain's going to be working. Wow. I, when I say you have to be alive, I don't know if he's going to be like in, in a corner, like rocking in a fetal position somewhere and thinking he's still present. But I don't know if he's going to be, he, I think he'll be brain dead put it that way wow i remember seeing lights from years i thought well he did have to go to the hospital suddenly because he had covid but i kept seeing him on a gurney so i don't know what that where that is as ex vp as ex president does he get to go to the hospital letterman hospital or whatever oh um what is the name of the hospital Probably. That's where we went. That's where we went for uh, the COVID. Yeah. They said he was really sick. Worse than he would have said. Is there any question you want to ask me? How are you doing with all this shit going down? Ooh, stuff going down. I'm doing good. I'm getting that feeling of excitement. I don't have, like I did remember before the Ukraine war, I was so overwhelmed with grief because I knew it was going to be bad. But I, I'm feeling Ukraine. I had this weird dream about Putin yesterday. I dreamt that he was trying to get next to me. Like he, he invited me someplace and I was there and I thought, ew, not in a romantic sense or hey, baby, he was trying to be nice to me. And, you know, kept offering me a cup of tea and stuff. I'm not going to drink nothing. He handed over. But I remember in the dream, I was trying to be pleasant. But in the dream, I'm thinking, ew. But he was trying to be charming. Like, let me show you how charming I am. Well, I'm in Hollywood. I know actors like that. Yeah. But listen, his days are numbered. I'm telling you right now. I, I, 
I predicted that after April, he's going to be, we're not going to be seeing him as much. And for some reason, whenever I think about him, I always see the, the, um, the movie posted to murder on the Orient Express. Okay. And we know he has his own little train. So let's hope. Right. But I feel, you know, he's getting rid of his military general. Like not literally stuff, but I feel that they're going to crowd up against him. Like, hello, Caesar. I think his military will turn against him. That's why he's desperately trying to get rid of the top people in the military. Everything around. Which is just going to make the military even matter. Yeah. So it's going to happen. But what do you think about China and Taiwan? That's kind of scary. I've looked at it before, and it's just like she's just pushing the envelope to see how far it can go. But like Little Rocket Man. But I don't think he saw how the whole world surrounded Ukraine. Okay. So he knows that they would do the same thing. Or Japan it would, would be war. If, he, if they go in and try to take over Taiwan, it would be war. It's not, think... it's not like Ukraine, where we're kind of standing back and here, let's throw you some equipment. No, no. And, and also the fleet is going to be there. I mean, in a second, nanosecond. So it, I just feel that they're just pushing but nothing it's i don't see it escalating i'm telling you and even russia can't afford a war right now not a big war Mm -mm. no did you ever see a reprieve for iran that they'll finally become more democratic i do but it's a few years away with some time yeah people have to go away first yeah yeah and then how about uh, Jared Kushner? Do you ever see him getting prosecuted? Mm-hmm. I always saw him in the orange suit. Way back when, I yeah. saw him as one of the ones. Well, what I always felt was, and what I've always picked up from my guides, Manny, Mo, and Jack, is that the sense of upstairs always saying, we'll take care of this. He still has to pay for Khashoggi. Oh, He's not, he may think he's getting away with stuff, but he's not. And then he just showed his true colors when he's saying, oh, good, Gaza, when it gets cleared out, we can start building expensive condos and everything, remember? Right, right. So is Netanyahu going to come to the United I heard that uh, Schumer had stepped out. Like, I heard at first he agreed, and then he, he's just not agreeing anymore. I don't see it, but you heard about the uh, United Nations saying, ceasefire, cut it out. No, when did that happen? It's in the news. It's been working on the the, the UN is like, you got to you got to stop this. No more going into Gaza, is what they're saying. Well, I think Netanyahu's going to do one other thing that's hella stupid, and that they're done with them then. Yeah. Well, I've been saying he's going to be out end of July as well. Maybe him and Cannon will sell properties in Florida or something. When did you see Cannon going? End of July. End of July. Okay. Canon end of July. And we got uh, Thomas, October. October. I know time frames are hard. Yeah, but remember when I did a show with you, I said July 27th, he's going to be indicted. And he was. Oh, wait, who was indicted? Trump. On July 27th. Oh, my God. I don't remember. That's good. You you brought it, uh, you know, because I never I don't remember what I predict. I don't remember. How, I have somebody that calls me and said, oh, the, and when I was talking to a client and we we're talking about Eugene Carroll, I said, that's going to be like 80 million dollars. And she's like, oh, that's crazy. It's not going to happen. And then she called it's 83. You're off by three million. Jesus, I love it. Yeah. And then I heard the judge just OK for some properties of. uh Alex Jones to get sold so those women can get their monies. The branch for 2.8 million, I think it was. Yeah. Oh, you know, they're all exploding. They want Trump in there. That that uh Supreme Court, they want Trump in there so bad. And when it doesn't happen, it's just over. 
it's they're going to do everything they can, but it's still not going to work. I just read where Justice Sotomayor, she oh, said God. things are so bad that she even goes in her office and closes the door and just cries. And in her dissent to what she, Alito wrote about the um, was it South Carolina, the gerrymandering thing, she used the word upside down twice, referring probably to the flag. That's well, she it. said it's almost as if they there's proof here and they don't even read it. They don't, they ignore it. Gee, just like Does that. Alito and Thomas have any power over why is Justice Roberts and those guys going for this bull? I think somebody has something on Roberts, to be honest with you. Okay. That's what do you feel on that one? Well, occasionally Amy will do the right thing and and vote right, but she, she there's something they're all in in the pockets of somebody. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, I feel there will be hearings. You perjured yourself. You said that was law, and you then turned around and got rid of it. Right. That was law. So. And then I read about how terrible forty five was with anybody that worked for him in the campaign. He made him sign in non-disclosure agreements that were awful and attorneys fought it. The judge said, yeah, they're too vague because he was trying to sue for millions on everybody that's talked about him and they cut them all out. So now all these people can come forward and tell the truth. Jason Miller got a girl pregnant. Yeah, that was working. Oh, who would sleep with Jason Miller? But she felt pressured. Well, Shoot. Yeah, That's nobody could pressure me. I'll pressure his ass, sit on his face and kill him. Well, you've got those ballerina legs. You can just kick him to death. <laughs> yeah, so it's sad. It's sad. So um uh how do people get a hold of you? Um on Wilshire and La Cienega, I have a I wear a sandwich board that says we'll read for food. Uh, it, oh, just go to um, here on YouTube it's Arthur Ease Your Mind and then ArthurEaseYourMind.com and make appointments and all that good stuff there how's the, your appointments doing when can someone get an appointment Monday Tuesday oh that's great oh my god I, <laughs> people are asking me all the time I only have I think I have well, I have people booked the next three months but like once a week or something so it's okay. not so if anybody needs an appointment i'm here yay i've had a couple of people that i just read for it said they had a reading with you and they loved it who were they I have to pay them oh so anything you want to tell all of us uh, any hits for the future here i keep seeing people celebrating in the street so there's definitely good news i think it's the manhattan judgment yeah what are you seeing? I feel also that once Judge Cannon is shot out of the cannon, then that is going to get back on track. Unfortunately, not before the election. Right. But I still feel there's this, it might be my liver, liver backing up from the 70s, but I still feel that Shotkin is going to be able to start something before the election. That's what I was saying. I saw, because when is immunity thing come? Let me write this down. When is the immunity thing coming in? Well, I think it's June, the end of June that the uh, court then goes on holiday. Yeah. Um, I feel it might be, people were saying they're going to kick it down, back to Chuck in and, and all that kind of, I don't see, I don't feel that. You just they you see them having nothing. They have to say he. Of course, he doesn't have complete immunity. Well, if they say he has immunity, then you know, hey Joe. Well, that's the one thing that's keeping them on the on the straight and narrow is yeah. because they realize if they say this guy has it, then what's to stop Biden from saying that nah, you can't be president? Yeah, let's arrest a couple of Supreme Court justices. Yeah, or he can just decide to move them all out because yeah. he says so. Executive order. Yeah. What was that show uh, with Mel Gibson, uh, Lethal Weapon, 
diplomatic immunity. Remember, he kept showing his diplomatic immunity. And then that guy shot him right through the head. Yeah. So, okay. So that, I, and also, you know, people were worried because I felt something big happening in New York besides the thing. I feel something with the railroad system or transportation. I don't know if it's a terrorist action, but there's some some sort of upsetting news. And I'm going to say it out loud because I see it. Anything with you? I'm feeling there's going to be a lot of flooding on the East Coast this year. From the hurricanes? Hurricanes. And I think we'll get a, our first Category 6 this year. Oh, more towards Florida or New York? In between. So maybe. Well, you know, and if it's a six, it's going to go probably. I really feel like, you know, the Carolinas are going to get hit. Ooh. Ooh. How about earthquakes in California? I got a fat neighbor upstairs. Every time she falls, I think we're having earthquakes. So I don't know. Um, I'm not feeling it. I don't. I mean, I I always tell everybody if something's going to happen, I think the guys would tell me. And if they don't, they don't like me anymore. I've been sensing something, but it feels more toward feel Oregon and, and maybe yeah. Bakersfield. I'm getting north. I'm not getting yeah here. Yeah. But. But, you know, we're kind of, we got these wooden houses and stuff. We, you know, I lived through a 6.9. Mm. It was a shaker, but uh, I lived. I didn't spill my drink. That's for sure. Well, I, I was asleep when Northridge hit. You know, going running out outside, just like look at my neighbor, tell her, I didn't know you had a tattoo there. So we were basically naked. And we're watching all the Transformers exploding on top of the Beverly Center. So oh was, my God. And my baby grand piano ended up in the middle of the living room on a rug. Oh my God. Yeah. It, it can be, it can it be. Scary. I came home, I was at my parents to watch the World Series. I go into my apartment, open the door, and I scream. And then I realize, wait a second, it was a mess like this before I left. <laughs> yeah, I can tell people the I can call the police and say I've been robbed, and they believe me. <laughs> Put the yellow tape. Well, you know what was sad about that one was that poor. Do you remember that that police officer that was going on the highway and didn't realize it had collapsed and went yeah. right off. Poor guy. And then. It's in Los Angeles, where the uh, the ten collapsed, that's like down the street from me. Yeah. Where the what collapse? Ten, the ten, the 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 freeway. Oh yeah, yeah. Like we had it was wasn't it five eighty? I think it was yeah. in Berkeley. Yeah. That guy that lived for a little while came to my hospital, and the reporters were there every day. Of course, I had to do rounds. Mm. I, he wasn't my patient. I was someplace else, but I I, I would walk through just to check it out. We had all the trucks in it. Look in the background. That was me. They said, oh, my God, is that the future, Linda G? <laughs> well, Mel Gibson thought you were. Ah. I mean, no, Richard Gere, Richard Gere, your boyfriend. Oh, yeah. When I worked with him as an extra. Mm -hmm. That was so funny. Went up to get pizza and he was coming up. I was coming down. It's three o'clock in the morning. And I look, I see him. I thought, oh, my God, this is he looks just like he looks. And I said, I tried to hide the pizza because I didn't, I wanted him to think I was petite naturally. And I said, oh my God, I have been here since 8 a.m. And they, I asked for a trailer. I don't get a trailer. I'm not seeing anything with us practicing our love scenes. And while I'm saying that, I guess his agent was below because it's sort of a round set of stairs. And you can hear the agent <laughs> running like, oh no, crazy person. And uh, get her her box lunch and tell her to go. And then I smiled at both of them. And I had the Warner Brothers thing here. Yeah. And I said, I'm a nurse from this hospital and I'm one of your extras. And he busted out laughing. So he had a good sense of humor. Yeah. And then I said, thank you so much. And so I, as I'm walking down, I, I, I said, so no love scene. He goes, you know, Linda, I don't think I have that, but I'll check it out. I was like, gee, golly, dang. <laughs> <laughs> but he is, he was just the nicest person. Yeah. Just as sweet as can be. I actually got his autograph. I, you know, I try not to ask for autograph. My uncle was a producer in, in uh, Burbank. I was down there with uh, 
Hollywood Squares set and Johnny Carson and I all those famous people. And but he always said I worked with my uncle. He said, don't approach them. Don't ask them for anything because they don't like to be bothered. No. So. OK, but I did ask Richard, could you sign my. You know, NGM or whatever I was working for, and he signed the badge. When I also had him sign my double wide JC penny underwears. Oh, that's good. Do you still have them? No. Are you, oh, that's right. You put them up on eBay and so on. <laughs> oh, could you imagine that? Well, honey, <laughs> I, I unfortunately have three you other know, people you have to have to today. <laughs> um, just thank you for like hustling me in your your busy schedule. Yeah, um, you know what? I only got busy like this. My other one fried or something, so. Right, but I only got busy like this because I got overwhelmed because I had to put everybody off. So I wanted to get everybody done. So everybody go to Linda's page, subscribe. If you're not subscribing yet, you can Thank put you. a like. Well, if you are subscribed, make sure you're still subscribed because subscribe. people are getting kicked off for some reason. And uh, comments, all the good stuff. Yeah, thank you, honey. And so, you know, keep in touch and... Well, we got stuff. We're, I'll be seeing you in September at the the gig with uh, in Chicago. Yeah, I should repost that poster. But uh, we'll have a little uh, get oh, together well. and tell everybody. It's mm -hmm. sounding so much fun. I guess a lot of tickets have gotten sold, so I'm excited. I got people say that they're going. So I know I can't believe how many people saying. Oh, by the way, Linda, I'm coming. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, mm -hmm. sweetie. So I'll catch you on the other side. Have a great one. Thank you, sweetie. Bye. Bye. Bye.